Hello all. Another uh, Scan and Cut Canvas tutorial here. This time around, in under 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how to create a silhouette aperture card. That's a frame through which you can see a decorative paper and then obviously a welded word or phrase or something in it. So I'm just starting a new project, giving it a title as normal. And then what I'm going to need to do is uh, put on a few basic shapes. So we're starting with a square. What I want to do though is turn that into a rectangle. So I'm using my properties dialog box and I'm unticking the bit that says maintain aspect ratio because I want to make it into a rectangle. I'm going to make mine 5 by 10 inches and this is because I want to end up with a 5 by 5 square card. So that's my main card. Now I'm uh, bringing on another square. This time it's going to be 5 by 5 inches. And then what I'm going to do is select both shapes. Two ways, as or ever. If one uh, shape is selected, you can always shift and click. Uh, or you can just drag a box around both. I'm using the Edit Align functions on the middle and the right. So I can get things into position where I need them to be. Just zooming in for a closer look. And uh, dropping away the shapes selection box. So you can see there on the right, that's where my main... Uh, card front will be. What I'm going to do though is create an offset line inside that shape. So I choose the inward option and then I want to choose delete the original object and the bevel edge so that what I end up with is a smaller square inside what would have been the original square. I'm now selecting both, going into edit and then using one of the process overlay um, options to cut that square out. Now if I double click you can see there that the cut lines are inside and outside that shape. So that's perfect, that's exactly what we want. Now what I need to do is create the score line for uh, the card. So I'm bringing on a shape and as I've showed you before we're just going to turn this into a single line. Now I'm actually making it four and three quarter inches so that I know that it will fit inside my card and it will fit perfectly. Now what I need to do is double click on the shape and I can see one of my lines is already selected and that's fine so I'm going to choose um, open the shape. Then I've got a, one of the nodes selected so I'm going to delete that. And then I want to keep this long line but delete the short line so I'm selecting this node at the end and then deleting that. So now I'm left with a line. Just going back to my normal editing options and bringing up the properties dialog box so that I can then change this to a dashed line and this will therefore become my score line and I'm setting it specifically as a cutting line on this occasion and changing the colour so that I know when it comes to the machine that's going to be the score, uh, sorry, the score line or the um, yes, the score line, what was I thinking? So again just selecting both and this time aligning along the middle and the centre so that, that score line goes exactly into the middle of that card and I'll have two five inch um, areas either side. Now next up I think it's time to start playing with what we're going to put in this aperture. So the first option I've got is going into the logo section of Scan and Cut Canvas and choosing one of these fantastic uh, pre-made sentiments. All sorts of different fonts and occasions covered. Now which one am I going to have? Um, I think I'll go for this, you and me. It's quite a nice one. So all I'm doing is dragging it over to where the aperture is and resizing it. You can obviously do this with the properties dialog box but at this point it's probably easier just to um, do use the um, nodes. So you can see very quick there I just aligned it with the center of that card and then choose the weld function and it's welded for me so that's ready to cut in fact and I could download now if I needed to. Just want to show you a couple of other options you've got though. So just going to go back to the original mat and undo that previous weld. I'm going to head over and choose something different this time. I'm going to go for the borders section this time around and I think I'm going to go for this one with the little birds on it. Now I'm not going to um, change the size here too much because there's actually a part here where they've got the two little lovebirds together that I want to use. So again, I just make sure by zooming in that everything's where I need it to be. Select the card base and the shape. 
or sorry, border, and then use my weld function. And there we go, a fantastic little birdie pair, little lovebirds, in the middle of that square aperture. Just one more option to show you, and this time around we're going to be using some of the um, built-in fonts that are in Scan and Cut Canvas, so you can make your own words to put in that shape. So I'm going in there, and I'm going to choose uh, one of these. Uh, let's go for that one. Okay, so fairly standard um, text editing in Canvas, as we've seen before. Double-click to start editing your text and then just type in whatever you want. I had a thought here I might do with love or something like that. Now in the properties dialog box here you can change the um, spacing between the characters so you've got the option to bring them closer together in case you wanted to weld them. So I'm doing that just now and I want to make sure they're overlapping so I'm zooming in even further and there you can see okay so they're overlapping. Now while that's selected I can go in and will that already. And that's fine, that would work, that's perfect, but I think I'm going to change this a little bit. Now from the properties dialog box, without having to go back and reload your text, you can actually change the one of the to one of the pre-built-in fonts. So you can see what it would look like with uh, the different fonts and you know continue changing the spacing to find the look and the fit that you want. Now I'm just having a bit of a click around here. Probably a bit too much. Mm, okay, I think I'm going to go with. I'm going to try and recreate that you and me, but this time with a slightly different font. So I'm just manually typing in you and me. Oh, that's a bit big, so I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Go into my properties box, choose. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And then bring these together. Okay, so. There's a couple of bits that aren't going to be welded here, but I think we're going to be fine. In my mind, what I might do is weld this to a border and then weld that to the card. But let's have a look and let's see. I'll just drag on a border just to be on the safe side, so we've got it there ready. And because I'm doing the you and me, I think I might go for the hearts border. Where is it? Shout if you see it. Oh, it's up there. Hang on. There it is. Okay, so that's quite big. I'll just drop that down in size a bit so we can see what we're working with. I'm going to bring over the you and me. Now you may have noticed I didn't pre-weld this you and me thing, and that doesn't matter because when we come to weld it to the card, it'll all do the welding business for me. So just bringing that down towards the bottom of the card. Uh, okay, I thought just crossed my mind. What I'm going to try and do is get away with these um, missing welded places, like between the Y and the O and the AND and the M, uh, by making sure that some parts of it are welded to the edge of the card. Let's see how that works. Oh yeah, okay, that's perfect. So each part of that phrase is welded to the main card at some point, so I don't need this border anymore. I'll just delete that. Now, if you're planning to make a number of these or resize it, you must group them. Because if you try and resize one part without grouping them, the rest of it won't resize with it. And also it means you can then duplicate it and have several on the sheet at the same time, or several of different sizes like I'm doing here. So you can see with the different sizes that score line's gone in proportion and so has the aperture. So grouping is essential. Now, I think I'm pretty much done, so I've got options again, as ever. I can download it. Obviously it's got the uh, name there that I gave it at the start. So I can download it to the PC, then take it to a USB and to my machine. Or if you've got one of the newer machines, you can obviously use the um, link function. As ever, I always save it into my Scan and Cut Canvas online projects area so that I've got it to go back to again, or I can re-download it or edit it once more. But for that, that 10 minutes is almost up, so it's time for me to log out and leave you to have a play.